I don't usually drive and video record stuff, but I really needed to share this. We hold so much anger and resentment in our hearts and we let it fester inside, we let it grow, we have resentment against people in terms of, you know, we wish they would have been different, we wish our childhood would have been different, we wish our parents would have been different, we wish we would have been different. And we hold that up inside and, you know, it festers and it poisons us. And it actually pretends not to be there until you get triggered and all that venom comes out, all that poison comes out, all that anger and hatred and judgment comes out. And it feels so heavy. It doesn't feel good at all. And this hate that we're carrying around is tearing us apart. It's tearing us personally apart. And it's tearing our relationships apart. And we have all these expectations that other people should be different than, than how they are. We wish them to, we had a different relationship with those people. And when they, when they don't behave or when they don't act the way that you hope that they would act, then all of a sudden you get triggered and you lash out. And then after you do it, you feel guilty. You start feeling the heaviness. And then something inside of you said that you should have acted, sh like you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have behaved like that. You shouldn't have lashed out. And then automatically what happens in, you know, after that is there's a part of you that doesn't want to feel that heaviness. So you start making excuses of why you behave that way, of why you got angry. It had everything to do with the other person. That other person is so, you know, so wrong and so inconsiderate. And they're only thinking about themselves. And now the story goes on. And you're just momentarily, you're kind of, suppressing that feeling that you knew that you shouldn't have done that, you shouldn't have blown up, you shouldn't have judged, you shouldn't have gotten angry at that person. And then you bury it again, months go by and you say to yourself, well, I'm not angry against that person, I let that go. I actually, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that person, I don't hold grudges. Until the next time the trigger comes back up and you get caught up again and the circle goes on again. So I guess why I'm sharing this is like, if you have any past relationships that are still weighing you down, you still have some anger left inside of you, don't bury it, deal with it right away. Look at it, make peace with it, accept that it's there and then don't let it go, work on it. Work on understanding why you're so upset at that person. Work on why you have those expectations that that person should, should be any other way than the way that they are. And why aren't you fully accepting them? If you know that that's how they are, then you should be okay with that. And to want them to behave differently just causes you to have more suffering. And then when you blow up, when they press your buttons, well, nothing gets fixed. We just escalate it all and the beat goes on. We suffer, that person suffers, we're all angry at each other and nothing really got fixed. So, I don't know, I just wanted to share that. Really have nothing more to say other than that. But take a look inside. Where are you still holding grudges? Where is there still heaviness and anger within you? And address it, look at it. Try and make peace with those people. If you can do it personally, communicate what you're feeling with no judgment, no aggressivity inside of you, no need to be right or wrong. 
communicate that with them. And if things get fixed, fantastic. If you're still not seeing eye to eye, that's okay too. But at least you addressed the issue and you didn't bury it. And if you can't have a personal conversation with them, then take the time to make peace internally. Look at the situation, look at the person, and just let things go. Forgive, forget. Have no expectations of them being different than who they are. And that's about it. I mean, the more you do that, the more forgiveness comes into your space, the easier it becomes to let things go. And that is good for, for you. And that's good for the person in question as well. So that's about it. Wishing you guys a good day. And I hope this helps someone out there.